pop and ship it only cause you know you popping, yeah You got it, girl, you got it So, I'm back with another video uh, But before I start this video, I just actually want to say something And I want you guys to literally take this like to the heart so, This is like my most embarrassing sexual encounter like i mean I, I don't even think i ever had another moment like this during you know what i'm saying my years of sexual experience but this this almost took me out the game this this almost made me stop real for real so just for like starters i'm gonna give a little rundown of the situation so the girl was in college i was also in college and we have met, not on campus, she actually went to another school, but we had met at, we had like, we were in the same like environment for like a networking situation or whatever. So, boom, uh, that day that this ordeal happened, uh, we had went out and we got drinks and we had got a, uh, food and stuff like that. We had a real good time. It was a real, 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 real nice time. So like, boom. So we just enjoyed ourselves, having a good time, whatever. And then like, so as the night go by, the vibes, like the music that was being played in the car and stuff like that, you just know when somebody wants you like that way, you know. So like, I'm like, I'm taking a hit in the car. So I'm in the car. I'm like, okay, <laughs> Girl, you play one more Chris Brown song, one more Trey song, I know, girl, you know what I'm saying, like, I know. So, you know what I'm saying, we just, our energies, like, we feeling each other's vibe or whatever, boom. So, we get out the car, you know what I'm saying, at this point, we at my house. But, like, so, she was just talking to me or whatever, because we was just sitting on my porch, and then she was just kind of, like, basically giving me the vibe, like, she wanted me to get back in the car, Go inside the house, go get some clothes, you know what I'm saying? You know, there's something putting it together, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, boom, slide up out the conversation real quick. You know what? How about I stay the night tonight and we could just talk and we could da 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 da? Boom. So, boom, I slide upstairs, go to my room, grab my shit, bounce. I'm in the car now. So, we leave my house, we get to her house, same thing. She come in, she playing music, uh, and she had an apartment. Uh, but her buddy, her, her her roommate was out of town or whatever, going to visit family. So, you know, uh, we was just chilling. It was just me and her. And it was cool, you know what I'm saying? Cool vibes and everything. Like, And then, so, like, we started drinking some more. And this just started off with the wine. Now, anybody who has drunk wine, you know, like, if you drink a great amount of wine, you will be lit. It is still alcohol. Don't let nobody be like, who you lit off the wine? Like, no, depending on what you drink and how much you drink, you're going to be a, at least a little bit tipsy, at least a little bit buzzed. So, boom, we make it up to the room, and it's feeling like a movie. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all gentle and just da-da-da-da. But what I wasn't realizing as I was so feeling myself as this situation is happening is that I'm 5'2 and she is 6'2 so as I start walking you know into the room and like looking at the bed and like really panicking I'm like okay so this got this about to get real like this about to really test my agility so and my flexibility. So, you know, uh, the whole night she just kept saying like little stuff like, I like aggressive people. I like aggressive people. I like to be yoked up and I'm crazy because I like to get choked up and all of this stuff like that. So I'm taking note because aggression and uh, abuse is two different things. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So on my mind, as I'm looking at the bed, I'm like, okay. I gotta be aggressive. I gotta be an animal. Like, I gotta, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay. And then inner me is also like, winner, like, you know what happens when you do things and you push yourself a little bit too far. So, um, I didn't realize that that night, in that moment, I didn't realize I was gonna push myself a little bit too far. So, okay, the girl, she's laying down and I'm in between her. 
obviously. And so, like, you know, there was this mirror that she had um, because it was the door, her door. She had a little hangover mirror or whatever. And so, like, I'm starting to, you know, like, you know, and I start to see that mirror that's behind us. And I'm like, am I about to do a backflip? Because in that moment, my mind wasn't, my mind wasn't really there. It wasn't registering that I was hitting a backflip. I thought that I was being spicy. I thought like inner me had, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, okay, okay, this is about to, this is different. This is aggressive because who do you know can hit a backflip and come back? In that moment, and I, when I realized that I couldn't possibly, in no way, shape, or form, hit a backflip and perfectly land back there or on the floor, I just knew, I just knew. So a surprise is there for me. Um, and once I saw the chair, as I got further down the mirror, I realized that I was about to get fucked up. So I completely, I'm like this. And then, uh, and like literally as my arms go up like this, literally my body went back and I went perfectly into the chair. Like my butt was like literally my, my, my lower, you know what I'm saying? Was literally like hanging off the top of the chair. My head was inside like the seat of the my, chair. My arms are like going out each side of the spinny chair. Like so. I flew so hard into that chair and with so much force that this chair is like, it's, it's spinning. Like at that point in time, I was scared. I'm tiny. I was petrified. I was so scared. I'm thinking like, is it forces among us? Like it's her house on it. Like I was scared. You know what I'm saying? Like, so boom, after all of this, you know what I'm saying? I didn't send so much force and energy into this chair that I didn't literally by time. I come back up, like literally probably like the fourth spin, my body came back up around, literally, you know what I'm saying? It comes back up around and I'm so confused on what's going on because how did I just go from here back around? So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to make sense of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to calculate everything, the wind power, the, the, the light level. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find a way to make this make sense. To make this make sense so that it's not as embarrassing as I know it's about to be. Oh, I come up, and the minute I came up, smack, the dresser was right there. In that moment, I felt so attacked. I felt like it was a setup because I feel like if it was supposed to be spontaneous and spicy and you know what I'm saying that should have never happened you should have switched some stuff up you why, why you got your chair right there you could have switched the the uh the spinny chair that was in your room with the dining chair you know the dining room chair like you could have did that like we switching stuff up we making it spicy like if I would have fell back into that chair I wouldn't have had that much damage you know what I'm saying on top of the collateral damage so I felt attacked so I got up and uh you know so I was kind of a little bit mad because I could look at her face and I could tell that she wanted to laugh, but she couldn't because she was worried about me. So I just hopped up and I just looked at her and I told her straight up. I said, look, mommy, this not for me. Um, I want to go. Um, honestly, I just want to go home. Um, if not, we just, we just going to go to sleep because this is a sign that this shouldn't. There's no way that this should have happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, it it shouldn't happen that way. So, from this overall embarrassing situation, I realized what I learned was to um, stick to what you know. Spice it up, they say. Throw some character into it, they say. No, no. Because then you end up like me. I added spice and I added character and, and got me here. So... Don't do it. Stick to what you know. Because when you stick to what you know, you're safe. Don't don't be don't don't worry. People can say you you scary, you this, you that, you boring. I'll be boring and still have my neck. You know what I'm saying? Not be walking around with no cast or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because you you stick to what it's safe. Okay. So that's what we've learned. I hope that this never happens to any of you guys. And I hope that this video 
will allow somebody to share another embarrassing moment. If you watch this video and you make a vlog or a video about your most embarrassing moment, please tag me in it. Um, and we can go back and forth to exchange stories because I'm slow. And I've done a lot of slow things in my life. So, until next time, because I still do not have an ending on how I want to like end these. Um, stay blessed. Stay mindful. Stay aware of what's going on in the world. Stay true to yourself. Uh, never stop loving yourself and never stop finding uh, new things out about yourself. Um, and read. 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 It's cool to read. Okay? So read. Um. <laughs> Only cause you know you poppin', yeah You got it, girl, you got it